So, here's the age-old question. If Hollywood goes on strike, and a lot of their movies and shows are underperforming, does the strike make a sound? I already did a video on the movie theaters being a dying business model, and that got me to write this follow-up. 2023, the writers went on strike in May, the actors went on strike in July. Since these strikes began, what movies have made a splash at the box office? As of the writing of this video, Barbie and Oppenheimer, and to be fair, Barbie was always going to do well opening weekend for the same reasons that the Super Mario Brothers movie did well. Brand recognition. Nothing more, nothing less. Everything else have either has, e has either barely broke even or have had a significant loss, which begs the question, why go on strike now? Why go on strike when the streaming services are losing money because COVID is over? Why go on strike after the big movies of 2020 that got pushed back have all been released at this point? What leverage do these writers and actors have at this point with the business model failing with very few exceptions? Superhero fatigue is real. A lot of people have said that, that what we're going through is quote unquote bad movie fatigue. But that doesn't explain why Fast X did so bad at the box office. Most people were saying that that movie was nearly three hours of unapologetic fun. That also doesn't explain why Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, boy, try saying that five times fast, had a similar opening weekend to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. It isn't just quote-unquote bad movie fatigue. In my opinion, what we're experiencing is quote-unquote blockbuster fatigue. The blockbusters have been dominating the box office for so long that there isn't anywhere left to really go with them. In 2018 alone, so many blockbusters released that it averaged out to one blockbuster movie was releasing in theaters per week. They are no longer special. They are the norm. Getting back to the main topic, the writers and actor strikes both have some good points that they should be fighting over, like the use of chat GPT to generate scripts or AI being used to reconstruct an actor's digital image, a la Peter Cushing from Rogue One. However, everyone, not just myself, are saying that this was the wrong time for the actors and writers to go on strike. Usually, if you want to strike to make an impact, there has to be some leverage. When the writers went on strike in 2007, they went on strike in November, right in the middle of the fall TV season. Sure, they got what they wanted, but a lot of shows had to have shortened seasons as a result of the strike. You could also make the case that the video sharing sites like YouTube, Dailymotion, Blip TV were still in their infancy. Therefore, they weren't serious competitors to these Hollywood studios. So, let me pose the question, what do the actors and writers have as far as leverage in the year 2023? They have pretty much told everyone who ever disagreed with them politically to go fuck right off in some way, shape, or form like Kelly Sue DeConnick did. And if you don't like my politics, don't buy my book. Problem solved. By the way, that was back in 2017, and it didn't stop with just Kelly Sue DeConnick. With a lot of people doing this with any movie that suffered criticism from people that didn't agree with the creatives politically, it was safe to assume that the studios felt the exact same way about the audience since none of the studios came out and told these people calling the audience man babies on Twitter to basically shut the hell up. So why would you, the average Joe, care about Hollywood's problems when these people called you, depor called you deplorable based on who was elected president in 2016? You don't agree with the creative choice made to a long-running series? Deplorable, man-baby, ignorant, racist, sexist, homophobe, xenophobe, etc., etc., etc. Ironically, the best time for Hollywood to have gone on strike was between 2017 to 2019 because even with all of the fan baiting, these studios were still pulling in record box office numbers. The actors and writers would have had so much more leverage back then. But as I brought up earlier, the box office is down and it isn't just get what go broke. These streaming services are losing subscribers and money since COVID is over. So once again, Where's the leverage? I will ask the inevitable question here. How does Hollywood going on strike affect you personally? In short, not much. The only people that are being negatively affected by this strike 
are the in are the quote unquote in the moment consumers. They don't want to watch anything made before they were born and just want to live in the moment. But for the vast majority of you listening to this, this is the perfect time to catch up on your backlogs of the movies and TV shows that you've been meaning to get to, but have it because of all of the quote unquote must see movies and TV shows being released. Now, those aren't getting made as of right now or are being shelved for a later date so that the actors can do press junkets to promote said quote-unquote must-see movies and TV shows. And I'll end it off right here because I know that I've been rambling. There's a big world of movies and TV shows that are already out there, a century of film history right at your fingertips. If there is one positive thing to come out of this strike will be the appreciation for older movies and TV shows. I can acknowledge that I'm being very optimistic in my view, to be fair. Will most people see this Hollywood strike as an opportunity to embrace film history? Probably not. All we can hope for is that some people look back at the strike this way. For those people that rely heavily on whatever the newest blockbuster movie or Netflix show is to get your fix, well, you're shit out of luck on that one. Maybe go back and rewatch Community, or Friends, or The Office, or The Godfather, or the James Bond movies prior to 2006, or maybe watch the classic Pink Panther movies with Peter Sellers instead of just waiting for the next big thing. Hey!